Big Daddy here, and today we're going to talk about customizing Mandrara Gnome just a little bit more. So in the last video, I talked about the full screen launcher and Gnome menu. Well, I'm going to try to customized it a little bit more because you know gnome always has that stigma of you know it's gnome <laughs> and it really does have that stigma and it had it with me but slowly but surely we're chipping away at it so it's nowhere near kde as far as settings but when you're in the gnome world you have to make do and find ways to make it the way you want it. So I was on Antergos GNOME in the last video, and I have a week's lapse in between the distro challenge for Deepin. <laughs> so I figured I would just stick with the GNOME environment. So let's dig into the GNOME menu and see if we can get rid of some of this busyness up here. And like I said, I do use the full screen launcher, but it got me thinking maybe I could have the button up here. So let's look at it. So the first thing I did was I copied a few uh, icons that I'm going to test out for this menu up here. And you make sure you have the show hidden files on. And then it is dot local share genome shell extensions genome menu and then icons and this just made it easier to put it into the genome menu later so i copied a couple icons here and i went with the mac logo because i'm on a mac type theme and i just figured i'd stick with it i'm kind of liking it right now so let's move that out of the way and first we need to go to the tweak tool now if you don't have the tweak tool installed you can install it uh, because it's a must have on any GNOME environment. All right, so we're going to go to the extension GNOME menu and we're going to go to the settings. And I'm going to open this up just a little bit more. All right, so I want to get rid of the, I don't use all of these things and I'm really not using the actual menu either. But we're going to use the GNOME menu extension to get what we want. So I'm going to remove the menu from the panel up here. And I'm also going to remove the view because I don't need that. Right at the moment I don't need it. Maybe I'll enable it later. What you can do is you can enable it and get rid of the text and it'll make it smaller. But for the purpose of the video to make it clean, I'm going to just get rid of it altogether. So we're left with what Gino menu adds, which is the apps part of the menu. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the text and I'm going to actually give it a different icon. So you must type it exactly how the icon is in your is named in your folder. It, if it's caps, you got to use caps. If it's lowercase, you got to use lowercase. And as you see now, it's using this icon right now. So that's all I need to do in there but there's a little bit more that we can configure to make it better. So in the activated activities configurator, which is another extension that I installed, which is a nice one. And one of the main reasons why you would install this is because it allows you to make the panel transparent. Now I'm not using it for that purpose right now because the theme that I have picked has a, transparent panel so I don't need it for that but the one thing that it does allow you to do that I am going to use it for is to remove the activities button altogether so we got that gone and now I'm left with my full screen launcher my places that I like to have and your global menu but there's one more thing that I want to do because now that I have this up here I don't really need this applications button here on the menu so if you go to dash to dock settings 
and you go to behavior and this is where you can move it from either the left or to the right but I'm gonna actually get it get rid of it altogether because I don't need it now because I have this up here so there you have it now we have a clean looking panel almost like a plank type panel which let me show you that too because that's actually in the dash to dock settings that I made it completely transparent um, the theme that I have right now is a dark theme but the panel is transparent but the uh, dash the favorites bar is not transparent so this allows you to make it transparent the way I want it so now we have a clean area over here the clock and weather in the middle and a cleaner looking left side of the panel almost reminiscent, uh, reminiscent of elementary OS but with a little more configuration so that's how I'm running my desktop right now let me know in the comments what you think and if there's anything else we want to customize in GNOME but until then Big Daddy out.